Well, hey, folks, it feels like it's been a minute since I've done an actual update. It is uh, Friday, December 27th, 2019. Seriously, we've got, what, three days left? Four days left? Three days, 28, 29, 30, 31. Four days left, not including today, in the entire decade. So this whole decade is gone in just less than a week. But I've got a lot to show you today. I've got, well, actually, I've got a few different styles of baits. I've got tons of colors. This is all one order going up to upstate New York. My buddy Troy, who is a walleye junkie and does very, very well on the jerk baits that I send him. That's really all I see him fish online. Um, so I'm excited to send these up to him. This is just, he asked for various different shades of greens and yellows and reds. And I did some pretty cool colors while I like wild colors. They always have, they always will. And then some more subtle patterns. And I know that you'll hit small mouth and there's a spillway up there where he lives and he does very, very well. And there's a few other places. So I'm excited to show those to you guys. Um, along with that, I have an eight piece order going out to Brad Clevenger. I hope I've said that right, Brad. I'm coming down the home stretch in the last of the end of November. And yes, I know we got behind schedule, but that's, it's notorious for the holidays. I get so overwhelmed with orders, which I love doing. I absolutely love it, but it does back me up, especially when family's coming in and out of town and we've got people here from Florida. It's just, it's crazy. And you guys know what I'm talking about. I know all you guys do. So what I would like to do is show you around this eight piece because I'm really excited. So this is the Imperial Crawl. I don't get a chance to do these. Usually outside of Halloween, they get ordered a good bit around Halloween. I get maybe because of the orange and green. These are those lure parts online. Um, this is a very cool little stencil deal. Lots of fun to paint these up and I actually upgraded his uh, 1.5s. I don't know if you guys can see the um, shimmer underneath that but I gave him some holographic because he requested fairly quiet lures on these 1.5s and then you can really see him on these copper craws. I like doing when I'm doing um, mesh which is pretty much the signature on this copper craw because it's an orange. Um, I love doing that little bit of that pop of flash underneath of the orange and then the uh, the craw pattern on the bottom so that is what's going on with the a piece really really liking it I've got another you guys are just loving these purple mice I've, I've gotten more requests for these things it's a blue fade into green into purple that really cool purple plum shimmer color and uh, this this is actually on the old KBS. So now I'm in the testing phase with the prototype KBS that they've given us uh, to kind of try out. So uh, these and these are on the PP34519, which is the lot number that they gave me. And I, I like all of them. Um, I've always, I've never had problems with KBS. I know some folks have lots and lots of problems with them, and I'm not quite sure why. I don't know if it's the way that they're being stored. Um, not sure what's going on with that. The one thing that I will say about this new one, this new prototype, is that it's a little bit more satiny. Um, there's not, there's not earth-shattering differences between this one that I'm seeing and the other one that's noticeable except for things that you wouldn't normally see and that's what's really impressive so the setup time and I've been timing it out so last night I started my setup on all of these with this and these being the the regular KBS and then these this eight piece uh, is the new one and the setup time on these on the new one is about five eighths of the time that it takes to set up on the regular stuff. So let's say it takes an actual eight hours to set these up on the norm, like before you can, you know, you don't want it to be tacky. You want to be able to handle it, not have any soft spots on it, and want it to get hard. Um, this stuff takes about eight hours before it's decent to pull off and, and dress and not be all soft and gummy. This stuff took five hours. So the setup time is about three hours less 
that I've noticed so far, and this is like the fourth time that I've dipped and then compared. I've dipped on its own and not paid attention and just looked for basic characteristics like how it sets up and the shine, and I think these were done, these were done on the new one, and that shine is just gorgeous, and there's no micro bubbles. That's the other subtle difference. There's, there's not the micro bubbles that you see or that you used to see like you did on the other one. Um, especially when you were like half into a pint or half into uh, a quart of it. So I do like that a good bit better. But um, yeah, so pretty impressed with it so far. We're going to keep testing it. I'm going to throw some of this stuff this weekend. Uh, these, I'm sure Troy will test aggressively <laughs> on some walleyes in New York. Um, and then I've got a couple other patterns, and I haven't done this. I haven't done the updates in a while. So this is uh this is a it's sort of based on the raid or the osps out of japan i really like the way it's designed it is exactly half an ounce dressed so the one thing that i would say about this is that it says that it's about a half an ounce it, it goes in grams so when you translate grams over to ounces or half ounces or parts of ounces there's a little bit of a variation but it said roughly it was a half an ounce undressed. Um, that wasn't the case. It's, it's about 0.4 ounces without clear coat and eyes and gear on it. With the gear and the clear coat double dipped, it's exactly, exactly, um, yeah, exactly, half an ounce. Um, I've seen the tank test. The tank tests look good. I have another one of these that's going with me this weekend that we're going to test on the river. We want to see how it behaves and if it blows out when you do a fast retrieve. So I'm going to be doing all that stuff. Um, I think I've seen it available in the States with, oh gosh, was it Backwater? I think it was Alternative Lures. I think Alternative Lures has it in stock. It's not a clear blank. It's a white blank. So you might want to check and see who has it available here in the States, but I think, if I remember correctly, Alternative Lures has this blank. You guys were all asking where I get it, where I got it. I, I get it from direct overseas, and I, I'm not going to disclose anything because I'm not a seller. I don't sell these. I have no desire to sell the blanks. I'm a designer. I paint lures for a living. So I will no, I'll no more beat up one or recommend another that's for you guys to do. There's plenty of sellers in the States that sell these from overseas. Most of them are very similar, if not the same blank, from just a bunch of different distributors and factories. Um, but again, that's not my deal, so it's not for me to say who's better than who. Uh, I love Dinger because he vets all of his stuff, and that's why I deal with him primarily, and he also has some other things. So. Just, I mean, do your due diligence and see what everybody out, out there has to offer and look at the quality and look at what people are, are putting up for sale. Um, but again, I, I don't recommend one over the other. I just try and get you guys where you need to be as far as painting. That's my job in life, so that's what we're sticking to. This is a jackal, and it's a simple pattern, but I love jackal rearranges. This is that rearrange 110. The stencil from this is from my buddy Corey Van Vonderen, um, who is primarily uh, a bass walleye. He does a lot of ice fishing guides. He's up north, but he does a lot of really cool um, stuff, hand-cut stencils that you wouldn't normally find elsewhere. This is actually a snakehead design, but I really want to take it on the Spring River. And then somebody was yelling at me when I did. There's a stormtrooper that's in progress over here. There that is. And I'm going to do, it's going to do, I'm doing half stormtrooper and half Kylo Ren on the other side. So that's going to be a fun one to do. I can't wait for you guys to see how that turns out. Actually, I'm, I'm excited to see how it turns out. Um, but then somebody was yelling, do a baby Yoda. So there you go the face the eye color is spot on and the ears and uh, I kept it simple 
I'm not going to try and do the cloth wrapping that he's got a brown cloth wrapping that he has, but I'm going to fish this. I'm going to see if the force is going to be with me on this one. <laughs> so we'll, we'll let you know how Yoda does on the water after some big old bass. This is a deep diver. This is also a sample that I got from overseas. So I get, I get samples from time to time. Um, companies, uh, they want you to purchase what they have to offer. Um, and and I, I have bought a few things here and there, um, trying these out. Uh, and I'm going to probably try this out and a few more. There's actually a, a really cool, it almost looks like, I don't know if you guys know cichlids, it almost looks like a discus. It's round. And it's Chinese made from lure fan. And it's awesome, and they use it heavily in Europe. I don't know if you guys know anything about uh, yellow perch fishing or tournaments, but it's a big, big deal in Europe. Um, and there's a YouTube channel out there that I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name. It's a very long name, and it starts with K. It's like K-A-L something um, or K-A-S. But it's like 15 or 16 letters long. Cool, cool YouTube channel. They do a lot of tournament fishing, but this lure was featured from lure fans. And um, I'm desperately looking for that blank. Um, but the cool thing about it is it's got a couple of different positional um, the line tie changes where you can run it one way or you can run it another. But I, again, I'm in the weeds. I don't even know if this is going to make the, the edit on the video. I just wanted to talk about that for a second. And uh, that's pretty much it. I think we've covered all of the bases. A few days left in the, oh, I've got one more thing coming up. I am going to, I think I'm going to air it on the 31st. It's going to be the last day in December, um, New Year's Eve. We're going to do the final spray session of the, of the decade, of the year, of the decade, which is going to be that Murray Cod. So stay tuned for that. I might have some fishing vids depending on how we do this weekend. Um, I know I get a lot of questions about, hey, can you just test your lures and show us what you're doing? And yeah. There's, there's going to be a lot more of that in the new year. There's going to be a lot more of suggestions from you guys uh, in the new year because you guys are really giving me some good suggestions. I'm putting them on the board, and uh, there's a long list of ideas and thoughts and, and can you do this and have you shown this before. So I'm going to run through those and hopefully have some real good banger videos out for you guys in early January of 2020. If you guys, by chance, don't check out the last spray session, then please have a very happy and safe New Year's, New Year's Eve, if you're in the States. I hope you had a great Christmas, if that's something that you guys celebrate. And uh, if not, happy holidays, and we will talk to you on the next one. You guys have a great day. We'll see ya.